Above all, I crave to seize the whole essence in the confines of one single photograph of some situation that was in the process of enrolling itself before my eyes. Henri Cartier Bresson. He is considered by many to be the father of modern photojournalism. Bresson was born in 1908 in France, where his passion for photography began at a young age, taking snapshots with a box brownie camera. His interest in the arts progressed, and he studied painting in Paris for two years, helping to develop his sensitive eye for composition. At the age of 22, he went to the African bush, where his interest in photography grew, and he felt determined to trap life and preserve the act of living. His camera of choice was a 35mm Leica with a 50mm lens. He worked exclusively in black and white and extremely disliked having to develop or make his own prints. Versailles served in the film and photo unit for the French army during World War II. He was captured by German soldiers and spent 35 months in a prisoner of war camp before successfully escaping. After the war, Brisson co-founded picture agency Magnum and was sent to India and China for photo coverage. 1948, in India, Brisson received international recognition for his coverage of Gandhi's funeral. Then in 1952, Brisson published his book, Images à la Sauvette, or The Decisive Moment. The cover was designed by artist Henri Matisse. Brisson withdrew from Magnum and began to return to his passions of painting and drawing. After marrying Magnum photographer Martin Franck in 1970, Brisson retired from photography. Henri Cartier-Brisson died in 2004 at the age of 95 in his home country of France. Brisson saw himself not as a photographer or an artist, but as a human being and that is how he lived his life.